in an early movie uh, that were shot by a camera. French Pathé, which makes it very rare. Uh, I'm talking about, they may have built 2,000 of them, and if there's 100 left, that would be good. Now, these all these wooden hand cranks, they don't make wooden hand cranked anymore because I think I suggested when they were taken out in the field, the worms would eat them up. So they converted from doing wooden to the metal one. See at the end, the metal one? Three. That's called a sept, which is also French. And they would put those, it's small, but they would still use a tripod with it and shoot movies. The next one over is a 16 millimeter Mitchell. Another very rare. They usually only made 35 millimeter, but they made a few 16 millimeter. projector. They made 2,000 of that model and there's probably a uh, hundred left and most of them are in museums. You, you very seldom see a Thomas Edison projector. The uh, plates are beautifully done. That's a beautifully done uh, projector. Uh -oh, that's an ace, French ace uh, projector that uh, my tenant worked on to make it work and it has a Mickey Mouse film in it right now that you can show on a screen. This one is the most rare uh, camera I have. It's an 1898 uh, French Pathé. It's very, very rare. They don't, they're not too many. Most of them are in museums. It's called a 28 millimeter projector. It's French made also. Got one roll of 28 millimeter film, which is exceptionally rare. They just didn't make many of them. And when they did away with 28 millimeters, most of them were destroyed. It is an ACME, A-C-M-E, projector, originally invented in 1918, but that happened to be a 1923 model. But it's complete, very unusual, has a, mo a molder. If you're going to 
talk about the history of projectors, that's in every uh, autobiography about cameras and projectors. Music, music, place to be.